Well, we're live now to zero viewers. So until someone sees that thing tick, <laughs> we can talk about whatever we want. <laughs> uh, that is correct. I can see that we are now going live. We are live. Coming to you live from literally everywhere in the United States, <laughs> the eastern seaboard, south coast. Close. Rocky Mountains, not quite all the way to that other big body of water, but we're close. Speaking of big bodies of water, uh, you should come down and see the Mississippi Gulf Coast sometimes. Uh, never seen a browner ocean in my life. <laughs> it is just beautiful. It's like our Georgia lakes. <laughs> you know, does the ground ever stop? You never know until you fall in. It's, it's beautiful. Would I swim in it? Absolutely not. But does it look pretty when the sun is setting and you can't tell it's brown? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get this. I'm trying to find... Let's throw that uh, that Twitch URL in our coach chat. Let's just get good idea. everybody excited. As we are getting ready to the, our two viewers, also two <laughs> casters with me. <laughs> thank you for being here. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the Louisiana High School State Championship for Rocket League. Version 2021. <laughs> this is going to be a, a best of seven beta test. <laughs> so, welcome. Your feedback is expected and encouraged. I do need that. What is that Twitch handle? I've got the link right now. One Great. second. You know, I've noticed a disconnect in the viewership from Twitch, the platform, to Streamlabs. And welcome to our four viewers. Thank you. Looks like they're already loading in. Seven. Nice. Seeing it tick. Hitting those double digits soon. I'm thinking triple digits. Uh, I, mean, this I, I was is told a, to expect triple digits. Yeah, this is, a, this is a high school state championship. This is the end game for six players this year to be the pinnacle of talent in Rocket League in Louisiana. Two um, unbeaten teams, right? Oh, yeah. You got two unbeaten teams. Um, I do believe that Lakeshore went to a full seven with Santa Mall in their last um, in their last game in the playoffs, but they are both undefeated as of now. Wow. So, so that ends for somebody today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that ends for somebody, and there's a chance here that we get a repeat state champion out of Dutchtown. Oh, yeah. And it's uh, if you talk to their head coach, Patty, they are gunning for it. Um, they did not drop a single game last year either, which is crazy. Um, I cannot imagine that level of dominance. Just straight up 24 games to zero losses. Um, and even they better up, yet, they're both juniors. They're all juniors. Oh, yeah. All of them. She's going to have this for – look, if they don't win uh, four <laughs> state championships, I think Patty's going to be upset. Can you redshirt in high school? <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll, we'll look into that i'll talk to my rules lawyer yeah the, yeah i guess that is the question can they just skip senior year and go straight to like you know collegiate esports i don't know maybe they're setting a new precedent but we will we will go live at some point uh soon 4 p.m is when we're going to be expecting the load in uh both these teams i'm sure they're getting their pep talks Getting ready, making sure the controllers are all set, and uh, and we're in for a best of seven. So thanks for joining us. Uh, there's three of us here. Uh, I am Phoenix Coop out of Atlanta, Georgia, and we've got G Reg out of G Reg. Where are you coming from? Castle Rock, Colorado. Castle Rock. Okay, great. Which is just outside of Denver. Okay. And English teacher is hitting us with those sweet, sweet tourism-based uh, calls for the Mississippi Gulf, Gulf Coast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got that beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast down here. Y'all come visit. We've got beautiful beaches, lots of mosquitoes and gnats. It's just a great time all around. 
Well, that's why we do esports, right? <laughs> we leave that to the others. So yeah, so these two teams, as we mentioned, are gunning for that state championship. One of them is that repeat state championship, and that's Dutchtown. They're here to defend their title. And I believe Lakeshore didn't even play uh, last season in the in the what the fall. Yeah, I don't believe so. I think this is their first season as a team, um, which is pretty interesting. I don't think they've played each other. Yeah, they obviously haven't because they're both undefeated. Um, so somehow they managed to dodge each other all regular season, end up on opposite sides of the bracket, and that means we get a very exciting uh, state championship between two undefeated teams. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. I mean, Dutchtown came out and won a championship, and you know, Lakeshore is just showing up on the scene uh, just plowing through the season and and that's what brings us to this to this point uh, as we as we get ready for these these student athletes to load in uh, and and they're not just a talented team I mean if you look at their ranks they're all in the champ grand champ uh, element too so we should be seeing some pretty impressive rocket league uh, not just good games but I'm looking at you know you see some pretty talented aerials and I'm uh, you know some some sweet tricks and all that fun stuff that makes Rocket League so exciting to watch at this high level. Oh yeah, for sure. And and that's I think that's the best part about today is it's hopefully between these two undefeated teams we're going to get some good Rocket League. Um you know, you know with our high school esports scene, sometimes there's a bit of a skill disparity, but um like you said, these two teams have have really held their own and uh I, as far as I know, um Lakeshore is probably at a very similar level to Dutchtown. Uh, from what we've heard from Dutchtown's head coach, she's excited. They're excited to play some competition. Uh, and it's always fun for us when we get to watch. Oh, yeah, 100%. And it looks like we're getting some people loaded in. So uh, let's just go ahead and start moving towards that route. And once again, welcome to the Louisiana High School State Championship uh, for high school. Rocket League coming to you live from, I mean, four different parts of the country. <laughs> <laughs> As we see our players loading in uh, right now, uh, we've got for the Dutchtown side, we've got Emerson, Sizzy, Early and Imer, and up against the Lakeshore crew of Renix, Sticky Rice Panda, and Baker. And Renix has already popped into the chat. Good luck, have fun. That's some that's some solid sportsmanship, some spirit that we're looking for. In a game we like, like seeing this. that. Yep. Yeah. So you are looking for that paper plate award of most sportsmanship player is Renix is Renix is getting it right now. Looks like we are getting ready to load in. I'm a little nervous. Yeah. I'm excited. This is state championship. This is the this is the best Rocket League in the country right now. <laughs> oh yeah, for the and, most part. And... With the with the way that it's set up, we have a potential to go to, you know, seven great games, and that's that's my goal, right? To watch, uh, full length best of seven, just two great programs duking it out. I'm really hoping we get that. I, I'm gonna call um, the over under on two overtimes. I think it's a little aggressive. Interesting. I'll take that. I'll go. I'll. Uh, you think you see. think two overtimes? I. I don't seven, know. I think seven. Seven overtimes. <laughs> Why not? Seven right? overtimes. That's gonna come to a heart attack. It's gonna it's gonna end game seven on their own goal. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be this it's gonna be just Ooh, miserable. Scorching hot take yeah, here. The scorching drama, hot take here. The drama. Especially considering that's exactly how my defending state champions lost in the Mississippi State semifinals oh, last no. night. Full best of seven, brought it back, tried to get the reverse sweep going, made it to overtime, and just a really rough bad luck fifty fifty uh, landed in our nets at the end of the game. Okay, that so there is... are moments where playing at home are advantages, and, and an own goal like that, that's one of them. <laughs> you don't have to face the, uh, in your room the team. And face the rest of your team. <laughs> Oof, that's, yeah, that's rough. I was, I, I didn't mean to bring back uh, very recent bad memories. But bad memories. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll survive somehow. You know, we got we to gotta forge on. Uh, good news is, just like uh, our Dutchtown team, all my varsity team are juniors, so they get another chance of redemption next year. Oh, that's good. There you go. Yeah, I mean, we're we're looking at 
Uh, three juniors, at least, that I'm, I'm pretty sure of on that Dutchtown team. All juniors. I'm not sure about the the uh, Lakeshore squad here. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is only... They're, they're in their junior year. So this is their second championship. Junior year. I mean, regardless of what happens this year, we know that these are still going to be some of the best players in Louisiana, which means probably yep. the country. Yep. Yeah, and as far as I know, I'm, um, I believe Dutchtown, as well as a lot of the other state champions, have already been invited to that play versus cup that's been teased um, for a lot of these high school programs. Oh, so very hopefully nice. we'll get to see them compete against um, some of these other teams as well. All right, well, it looks like we are actually go. going live, so we're going to kick this one off in our high school state championship in Louisiana. And Dutchtown in the blue, go ahead and get those up for you as we move into this. Uh, kicking it off right now, we've got a lot of action in the Dutchtown uh, aggression right here, and it looks like Renix is up in the air for that one as Sizzy is going to push this one in on the net, and it's going to be blocked by Baker. So... Good run right there. Nice aggressive push from uh, Dutchtown. And now Dutchtown is on the defense for this one. Uh, Sticky Rice Panda is putting this one into the corner. Emerson takes this one around the wrong, the left side of the field. Uh, and we've got a huge collision in the center right there as Baker sends this one off to the side to try and get a clear and see if they can get a double commit from Lakeshore. It's not what you want to see in a game like this. Uh, but maybe maybe there's something that's going to happen right here. A nice block, amazing block from Dutchtown to make sure that goal does not go in. And Dutchtown is once again on the defense. It's a minute in. Uh, predictions? <laughs> Look, uh, well, I mean, so, really far the, so far, Dutchtown looks a little bit more disciplined in their rotations. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Um, the good news is that uh, even though Dutchtown's looking a little more disciplined, Lakeshore... Um, you know, part of that undiscipline means that they've got a lot of aggression going. I mean, they have been pushing constantly, and I think that's the result There's right there. That's going to do it. Yeah, that, that's just, when you keep up that pressure, sometimes you just build an opening, and that's what happens. Yeah, and you, you, you both, I think, mentioned rotations, and getting those good rotations is going to wear down the other team. They're not going to be able to respond. And part of that, too, is taking up that boost pad. Um, denying that boost as we see Renix up in the air bringing this one back down as Emerson catches that and responds with an aerial of nice their aerial. own a nice shot but just off the top corner not going to go in as we see a Dutchtown car flying by uh, Emerson's going to stop this drive and a little little one two uh, Dutchtown Lakeshore and Lakeshore is on the defense here with a nice clear from Sticky Rice but that's looking into contention but once again, cleared. So a lot of back and forth, uh, a lot of ping pong going on in this game. Um, and both teams are very fast. So here we go. Nice shot on goal from Dutchtown from Emerson, but it's not able to connect. And a lot. Oh, another shot from Renix. Nope. As another block from Emerson. So Emerson seems to be taking up that goal spot really well in this game. Uh, and that's going to be one of those rotational things that you both mentioned is trying to get back into that goal to block these shots. Yeah, and that'll be interesting to see how they set that up too with the offense and the defense, who kind of sits back a little bit more and who tends to jump up into play. Yeah, and as we see that 100 pad picked up, which is really great when you're on the offense to deny that, deny that boost uh, from the defenders so they can't block those shots as we've got Another another ball in Dutchtown territory as Sizzy's going to try and get this one out of here. Baker stalls to try to keep the pressure on. Early in Heimer, 50-50 with Renix. It's in the corner. All three Dutchtown players in the corner right now. Not where you want to be at all. Uh, and a nice stop from Sticky to keep that pressure going as Baker takes a shot, pushes a nice pass into the center, and nice. Renix picks it up to score. I think that's two for Renix now. Yeah, and you know, and you just kind of feel like that's going to happen. Um, you were talking about it, but all three of them were pushed up on that ball trying to get out of their goal And when you can't get a solid clear off, that's what's gonna happen, right? You're just giving that ball back to your opponent like Dutchtown was giving to Lakeshore um, Unfortunately, you just give them a chance every single time and eventually they're gonna convert Yeah, and it's you know a lot of times in these games that game one is is one of those games that is just gonna decide how you play the next round. Like, these teams have never played each other. 
they've never seen each other in the season, so they're not entirely sure how they play, and a lot of learning happens in this first game. As we see an almost open goal attempt from Sticky Rice Panda, but I think Emerson once again able to cross through there, and now we've got a drive from Dutchtown, popping this one in the corner, trying to get across. Uh, two yeah. Dutch or two Lakeshore players trying to get that defense out there, and a lot of over-the-top defense from Lakeshore, which is a really difficult style of defense. But if you can do it, it's incredibly effective, and they are they are doing that super well in this first game for sure. Yeah, it's a real shame not to see Dutchtown convert on that. That's really the first good bit of pressure they've been able to build this entire game. Um, and you really hope to see them convert on that, but it just looks like it wasn't able to happen for them. Yeah, and as we hit the 40, 30 second mark coming in here, uh, Dutchtown is needing to get something. Nice. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So that's going to bring us to three up for Lakeshore in this game one. Uh, and, I mean, we talked about how Dutchtown took, you know, they both have swept their their seasons. Um, so this could very well be the most competition that either one of them have seen uh, in this season. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, we talked about uh, before the stream started, we talked about how Lakeshore went to a full best of seven with Santa Ball. So they've at least had some, you know, some decent competition. Um but talking to Dutchtown's head coach, they have not had the same experience. Uh, as far as I know, they've only dropped um, two games in their best ofs all year, and none of those resulted in a series loss. Wow. Uh, so this is absolutely the most competition that they have ever faced. So it'll be really interesting to look at how they can protect their mental game, uh, what they can do to kind of bounce back from what is honestly one of the only setbacks they've had as a team ever. Yeah, and as we see, coming in here, you know, Renix with those two goals, Baker picking up one. All three of them had a lot to say in that game for Lakeshore. They were very present. Uh, I think you mentioned those rotations and seeing that Dutchtown was kind of double and triple committing a couple times in there. Yeah, and I saw a double clear happen on um, uh, not Dutchtown. Um, they kind of got out of the way of each other and so that's just might be a little bit of nerves um not quite being as comfortable with where you're being pushed to go some nice in goal saves though too yeah, and it's uh one thing that's nice to see is uh, we didn't we weren't uh, lucky enough to get any information on lakeshore really before they came up besides their uh in-game names and so as you can see right there with 402 points the most points in the game uh, and the most goals in the game uh, Renix is a season one grand champion. So that was really my main question coming into this. I knew the ranks of the Dutchtown players. My players have played them. I've seen them play before. Um, so I know what their skill levels are at. But Lakeshore was a really big question mark for me. And so it's nice to see that um, you know, Dutchtown has some serious competition here. Yeah, that's true. And I think one of the things uh, we knew was one of the Dutchtown players was uh, a diamond until very recently. So they've been they've been progressing as the season's gone, uh, for sure. And we'll see how they respond in this second game. So as uh, the second game kicks off in our best of seven series, um, an early attempt and an early attack by Dutchtown by Early and Imer with Emerson as well trying to get this. So maybe they've had some time in the in the the break to reset and, and think about things and try and keep that pressure going. I see that Baker is just camping in the goal right there, uh, trying to, to to keep a presence as Sizzy pounds another one above with a nice boom, a demo on Renix, and that's going to give him a little bit of breathing room and a little bit of space now in this 2v3 with Early and Heimer going to drop this one down. Baker's going to drop this one to the left side. No one's there to pick it up as Renix tries to get this clear. Now we're almost at the minute mark, and it's still a fast-paced game. Uh, you, you guys seeing anything different in this one or does it look a lot like the first one no it looks way different from Dutchtown so far I mean we talked about how they weren't able to get very much pressure at all um, throughout their entire game and, and as a result um, weren't able to do anything weren't able to score uh, and it's good to see them come out of the gates try and put some pressure on uh, try and get something set up so that they don't have to go down early like they did in the last game so that's good to see so we'll just have to see if they convert yeah, and that team communication just even right there was better. Nice pressure. Oh, come oh, on, somebody get up in there. <laughs> I know. This is, I mean, they've, they've definitely, I wish I had a timer of, of uh, 
you know, who's got possession control this game, or at least the side of the side of the pitch. Um, but that's going to oh, great rebound shot from Renix, and that's going to get them on the board again first for this game as well. Uh, as you see that again, the triple commit in the, in the goal, um, but just being where they needed to be for Renix to pick that one up. And beautiful aerial, great timing. Yeah, yeah, and that one looked like a bit of a rotational breakdown for Dutchtown. Um, Dicky Rice Panda almost got the the free goal off the dribble, uh, and luckily somebody from Dutchtown was able to pick it up, and they oh. finally convert. Great demo in the goal. I mean, it looked like they were trying to do that earlier as well, and this time, Sizzy off the wall and just <laughs> Dutchtown takes out the goalie. Yeah, Emerson saying, if we can't get the ball past you, fine, we'll get you out of the goal ourselves. <laughs> And I mean, that's a really important tactic in Rocket League is to take out the other team. You get five seconds of a, a basically like a little mini penalty box play. And if that goalie is the one you take out, that is huge. And that could be the drive they need to, to re reset this one. But it looks there like it Sticky is. Rice Pan is going to respond with their own. And once again, another rotational area. When you see this replay, look at how far of them are pushed up. You've got two people going for the double commit in the goal, uh, and Emerson pushed up on the other side of the field as well. And once that Lakeshore player makes that touch and gets it over all three of them, that's it. It's an easy goal. Yeah, it's a game over right there. Yeah, and luckily early on in this series, that's the kind of thing that you can you can you can change that mindset. You know, you can up update your communication as Sissy does does that right there taking advantage of a very aggressive Dutchtown play here uh, and owning that key I mean that's one of the things to, to talk about is the top of the map or the top of the key that penalty area if you can keep someone in that spot you're going to get those rebounds yeah, absolutely it's it's good to see um, Dutchtown hasn't let it bother them too much they are coming at the gates swinging um, they did not want to let another game go by without them scoring, and we have a very close tight game. Yeah, that's completely true here as Emerson swings around to pick up that stalled ball for a nice little drive here. He nice. swings it right past on a great pickup aerial and dribble all in one. I mean, this dribble skill is just is phenomenal here, and the great read, Sticky almost able to get there, uh, but... Look at that, just like that, just like you were saying, unfazed, doesn't even matter, it's always 0-0, and now they're up. And Emerson, just with the last two goals for Dutchtown, really taking things in his own hands. Uh, he had that really nice demo that we talked about to open up the goal, uh, and right there, just doing it all himself, an isolation play, he gets the dribble, gets the early touch, and gets the goal. Yeah, and these are juniors, so if you think they're talented now, <laughs> just wait, as the pressure once again being asserted by Dutchtown, just relentless here. You know, they got three goals. They are hungry for more. They want to close this one out. Um, don't want a repeat of game one. And they're just picking up that boost and just denying it from Lakeshore. And I think it's going to pay off here as we get a great... Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Incredible. Oh. Wow. <laughs> right after we get done talking about how talented they are, sometimes you just get a little Rocket League moment. And that's one of those. <laughs> Great setup, and just unfortunately no one there to convert as we get a good wall oh. shot and a triple commit to save it. I mean, sometimes you just have to throw everything at the goal to stop a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, though, in that last that last try, um, what was really impressive was both teams were, were whipping around with a ton of speed as Renix brings it back to 3-3 or 0-0, essentially, with a, just over a minute left. But both teams in that last attempt were doing really impressive things to get back into a rotational spot to get either to attack or defend. Um, and it, it looks like it paid off as the ball just stalled right in front of the goal and Renix was able to take that for their own. So just over yeah. a minute left to go and, you know, uh, Dutchtown has, has, knows they can put points and take the lead on this. so. Minute left, uh, Baker's going to take a nice shot and almost gets the rebound into the middle for Sticky as we got two touchdown players in the corner and that's going to leave an almost undefended goal and Renix capitalizes on that and gets up again. Lakeshore once again has the lead. So we've had two lead changes, three lead changes technically in this game. I think it's three lead changes. Yeah, and Renix really had to calm down and kind of slow <laughs> to get that goal. He knew he had it right in front of him. 
Yeah, and that's going to put the pressure once again on Dutchtown to commit and, and get something going here as Erling Eimer's in the, in the corner, barely misses that one. Could have been a nice cross. Sizzy's going to send back into the defensive position and reset for Dutchtown as Emerson is fighting the 2v1 in the corner with a backwards clear up in the air. Renix is going in to maybe try and cross or just keep this alive and out of Dutchtown hands. The 30-second mark is here. A little bit of a drive for Dutchtown, but back once again in Lakeshore. Hands almost getting the double touch off for Sticky for the goal, but we've got 15 seconds left with a nice little dribble fake from Dutchtown, and that looked like it was going in. That looked pretty. That was a classic. That was a play right there. They're not giving up, though. No, not at all. Right there. Oh, no, Sticky with the last wow. second goal. And that one is pretty much going to put this second game away. Uh, and it looks like Lakeshore is going to have a 2-0 lead in Louisiana State High School Championships. Yeah, and that's huge. That is big. Uh, you know, they still have plenty of games to take it away, and kickoff goals are a thing, but this one's going to drop down, and that's going to bring us to the end of game two. Absolutely. Um, look, we, we honestly can't talk about this enough. We talked about how both these teams have kind of steamrolled through playoffs so far. Um, Dutchtown has really not been challenged all season, uh, and it looks like they're getting their first one with Lakeshore. This has been, uh, that game especially, was super close until really the last 30 seconds. And, you know, I I'm looking at Dutchtown, I'm looking at Lakeshore, and the one thing that I personally would really love to see uh, Dutchtown pick back up here is um, play as a team. We have seen a lot of isolation plays. They try to get that one passing play right at the end to tie that game back up at 4-4. It didn't quite work out. Um, but these are players that, you know, according to their head coach, have been playing together since middle school. I would love to see some of that synergy come out with some kind of passing play so they can come out on top of this Lakeshore team because it does not look like Lakeshore is going to stop scoring anytime soon. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I agree. Um, Lakeshore, did, uh, there's no way that Lakeshore is going to say, oh, game three, ah, let's lay off the gas a little bit. Let's take a breather. Um, you know, they they have actually seen Dutchtown come back in a game, and that, that is enough to to make sure you keep the gas going. Uh, and, you know, they still need uh, a couple games to put this one away, so it's not over yet by any means. Um, but again, Dutchtown knows they can score and they can stay up on this team, and they had a lead for a, for a decent amount of time. Um, but, you know, those positioning errors kind of plagued them, and they came back. Uh, but we'll see if game three will change things up as an early shot from early on Heimer from the uh, kickoff. A little double commit there from Dutchtown. So check the comms. Uh, make sure that everything's working as Sticky Rice Panda picks this one into the center. Early on Heimer stops that drive and puts it into the middle. That's where Dutchtown likes to be with a nice off the crossbar pass. A nice demo from Sizzy and a goal there from Emerson. And that is the one, two, three that you're looking for. I think all three Dutchtown players had a hand in that one. Early on oh, Heimer yeah, to Sizzy to Emerson. And that's exactly what I was hoping for, right? Like I said, these kids have been playing together for a long time. Um, I'm assuming they've done that a lot more than just once in their careers playing together. So let's hope they can do it some more. And let's see what Lakeshore can bring back after that early goal. Well, and we saw a... Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, Sizzy, Sizzy. Oof. Look at this from from downtown. And then up in the air just to, just to make sure. Just to make oh, sure. Nice. And then I'm going to get a little double touch on it. Beautiful, Sissy. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. If you're out there and you're from a college, I have a suggestion for you. <laughs> uh, speaking of colleges, this is, um, I don't know if you guys watch the college Rocket League circuit at all, but LSU um, is consistently one of the best teams uh, in that league. And Touchdown is only about 20, 20, uh, 20, 25, 30 minutes from LSU's campus. And oh, so that's as a. As far as I know, talking to uh, talking to Patty, I believe that's where all three of these players are looking at going to college. Wow, that's great. The players at LSU need to be worried because, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you've got um, you, these these kids are gunning for a back-to-back -back state championship, and that's going to look pretty good on a college resume. And uh, this game, you know, we just hit that one-minute mark, and this is a totally different team. I mean. They have they are denying uh, Lakeshore a lot of, of playtime in this one. Uh, I hope I don't jinx anything here as we see uh, attempted clear a very slow ball up in the air. Renix is able to put this one down, but Sizzy takes care of it. 
Uh, and But most of this game for the first minute has been Dutchtown. As here we go, another drive from Dutchtown into the corner. All three Lakeshore now are over committing. And if Dutchtown can capitalize on that, that is a goal. That's an easy open net goal. As Emerson takes this one up the side wall and Renix is able to fight that one. Sizzy doing a little reverse, throwing people off here. Uh, up in the air, nice little pass. We're going to get a, a zero touch from Renix, and that's going to leave it in the middle as Dutchtown tries to commit on that one and capitalize as well. So here we go with Lakeshore taking a, a, oh, a nice little misdirection play, sends it straight into Dutchtown as once again, Dutchtown is on the offense. I mean, totally different team. A shot on goal and not able to make it with a double commit. And you got to... Oh! <laughs> I was just about to say you got to feel good for Lakeshore. That was a really iffy clear back into the middle of the pitch, and it didn't look like it was going to mess with them too much. And unfortunately, I just don't think they ever recovered and just weren't able to protect that last shot. Now they got left awkward. And that was so clean from Sizzy. I mean, that was... When I play Rocket League, I think I only know how to go 100% gas. And these kids actually understand control. And it's really impressive to watch someone going in the air, full spectrum, full speed, turning around 180, slowing it down, and then pop it into the goal. And I mean, that's the good Rocket League that we were talking about watching here as Dutchtown is taking a commanding presence in this game. Lakeshore sends this one back to their own area. And Renix is going to try and clear this right into the center with Emerson picking it up to keep the drive alive. And Lakeshore is going to stall that. But both Dutchtown players are there as well. The positioning is much better in this game as Erlianheimer sends this one to the side for a pass. It's a bad clear picked up by Emerson, putting it back. No one's there but Sticky Rice Panda. And finally, I think Renix got their first demo of the series just then. Yeah, I'm not... We haven't really had too many demos except for that very memorable one in Game 2 from Dutchtown, um, which, you know, if you've ever watched Competitive Rocket League, you know that's a huge part of it. Uh, making sure that, you know, the goal is clear, giving your team some space to pass the ball, shoot the ball, anything you really need, uh, that demo can give you some time. So really hoping that both these teams can kind of pick that up a little bit as we go through and set up their teammates for success. Yeah, and as we see here with a, just a minute and a half left, I mean, this is this is a, a, a fast game, but the clock seems to be taking forever here. Uh, and that's in Lakeshore's favor, but they only have a minute left. They need to get three or four goals to uh, to keep this, you know, what they want as a shutout going. But Dutchtown has, has decided that that is not going to happen this time as Lakeshore is up on the sidewall trying to get something that gets past the defenders. But... We've got another Dutchtown player there, and this one's a slow, slow bounce to the side. Almost, almost a goal, a goal. Uh, but a lot of action once again in front of Lakeshore, and it looks like a lot of commit going on. Almost a triple commit from Lakeshore. A nice redirection as Emerson takes that one to cross. It, it stops dead in the middle of this pitch, and 40 seconds left. Both teams are still hungry, and Dutchtown, of course, wants to get another one in there to really seal this one. Um, but Lakeshore is going to have to figure something out here with 30 seconds to go. Yeah, and it's, you'd really like to get a few going to give yourself a chance in these last few seconds. Um, and even if it doesn't quite give you the chance to come back in this game, um, I'm sure it would feel nice to get a little bit of momentum going. Uh, here we have Lakeshore pushing. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Yeah, there we go with the countdown happening in the middle of the goal. And oh. Sticky Rice Panda does get that one goal to at least build some confidence. They know they can do it. And what would High School Rocket League be without a really awkward uh, <laughs> attempt at defense there? Poor Emerson. You know, sometimes you're stuck in the goal. Uh, you're just looking at all these people flying around the pitch. And, I mean, look, it's a strange touch. They're up 3-0. Don't worry about it, Emerson. It'll be fine. That's not your bad. No, not at all. That is just, that's what happens when it comes off the backboard and into the middle. You, you almost It's almost like a penalty kick at that point. You just kind of hope you guess right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and speaking of uh, getting it right, Dutchtown finally picking it back up. They went down 2-0, pick up a game. Now we're at 1-2. Lakeshore's still in the lead. Um, and like you said, for a lot of that game, it really did look like Dutchtown was just a completely different team. They really kept up the pressure, which was, in my opinion, uh, their biggest issue in their first two games. It felt like Lakeshore, you know, they decided the momentum the entire time. They were the ones responsible for um, setting up any kind of passes, clearing out the goals, um, and 
pretty much all the aggressive plays that forced Dutchtown to get out of the rotation and force these errors, um, those all went to, this, uh, went to the side of Lakeshore. Dutchtown, on the other hand, they finally pick it back up. They have um, pretty much all the pressure that they need, uh, and they flip it around, right? They're the ones forcing Lakeshore out of rotation, and it showed with a few of those easy goals. Uh, and so far, I can't, I can't tell what team – I have no idea what the, this next game is going to look like because each game has looked completely different. None of them look the same. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens in this match because Dutchtown looked way different in that ma match than Lakeshore did in the second. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, and I, it, it was it was like the teams had flipped, right? Like right. Dutchtown in that game, they they had so much space. You know, they controlled all of the pitch instead of just one side or one corner, which is something that we were seeing early on was a lot of Dutchtown players in the corner, a lot of Dutchtown players in front of the goal, uh, and that was Lakeshore's turn to do that last game. So Dutchtown's got points on the board, they've got points in the series, and they're looking to uh, to change things here. As he gets an almost open goal shot straight from the middle there, but it's denied by two Lakeshore players. And Sticky Rice Band is going to turn this around, uh, but no one's there to, to pick that up. And once again, Dutchtown is putting the pressure on and trying to stay as much as they can in the Lakeshore side as Renix looks goal. like an open goal, but it's denied by Sizzy. The defense, both of these teams' defensive plays are great, and I think Dutchtown has to have been practicing the, the far post rotation swing around clear um, that really is way better than trying to defend from the center, which just gives them a rebound chance as Sticky Rice Panda puts one up into the air with a deflection, and that looks like it's gonna go in from early in Hammer. I am interested to see this replay because I don't think that was expected. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a pool shot. It looked like no, not quite. Oh, okay. He just kind of beat him there. It just wow! Perfect. Ran out of boost. Top corner. I think you're probably right. Ran out of boost. Ran out of momentum. And early on, Heimer was there to to take control of that from the center and just slam it in. Oh, nice little. I mean, I don't know how that trick works, but that was a great shot on goal from early on, Heimer to redirect. Uh, as we got another shot from Emerson. Yeah, and I think, I think as uh, Rocket League players, we've all been there. You're panicking, you're worried, you don't know who's going to save this ball, but you've got to touch it or it's an easy goal. And unfortunately for them, Dutchtown was just uh, right there ready to pick up the rebound. Well, and you know, too, that you're just putting it right on center for somebody. Yeah, and a wave dash, I believe, an aerial wave dash. And I've been seeing them doing a lot where they start to rotate one way and then they boost the other. And they're taking shots with these, which... You know, if you're in goal and you're trying to block these things, you know, you see those reactions in the ball. You think it's going to the left. It ends up going to the right. And that's how they get past both these defenders. And Emerson takes another drive from Dutchtown up in the corner from Renix. But that's an off the top flip reset coming in. That's going to keep the ball in uh, Lakeshore side. And Dutchtown had a nice little drive there. And once again, swinging around Dutchtown on the on the offense here. Emerson's going to go 50-50 with Sticky Panda. Uh, they both faked me out, and Renix puts it in the middle for the key, nice, and that's a great pass to Sticky. Yeah, absolutely excellent pass. I was just about to say that, you know, I really, really hope that Lakeshore sees us and realizes we have got to step it up here and pick up this aggression. Um, you know, Dutchtown has shown that besides for that first game, um, they're going to score as well. And it really feels like Lakeshore in the last couple of games um, really kind of let off the gas here. And that was just an absolutely beautiful passing play to show us that, no, it's OK. Lakeshore still knows how to score and can still do that. I think I think you mentioned the important thing there is Lakeshore, the first couple of games, was passing really well. Climbing up the side, sending it over, or bouncing it intentionally off the side of the goal for someone else yes. to pick up. Yep. And that is the play we just saw was up off the wall, send it to my teammate. Uh, whereas in the last game, it looked like they were they were all solo queuing. They were all trying to be the hero, and the, we could see how that broke down. Uh, and as as we see Dutchtown on the offense again, taking control of this game, uh, uh, trying to get that, you know, get a little bit of a goal lead at this, more than just one with a shot on goal from Emerson, just smacked into the corner. Absolutely, and and once again, just look at this beautiful pass from Sizzy right here, <sighs> using his momentum off the wall getting that extra bit of bump so that he sends that ball right to Emerson. And Emerson, like the grand champ he is, just absolutely slams it into the goal. That positioning was textbook. I mean, they knew where they were going to be, and they knew where to put that ball, and almost a shot right there uh, to get another one up on the board. 
as Dutchtown gets a little defensive for the first time. Uh, double commit trying to clear. That's going to open the goal for Lakeshore. Uh, as we're going to try and get this one out of here. Emerson versus Renix and back into the side for Sticky to try and put this pass play up. And that is going to be almost on target. Picked up that by Baker, taking beautiful. control of the key. Yeah, and, and as we can see, as we can talk about, um, like you said, Dutchtown really on the defensive for the first time. That first goal Lakeshore got was a great play out of midfield. Um, this one set up because they just kept the pressure on. Dutchtown had a couple awkward clears. We saw the double commit. Uh, and after a little while, somebody comes in with a really nice pass. You keep up that pressure, eventually you're going to get an open goal. Yeah, and I mean, they're not letting off at all. Uh, oh, nice little demo there. Trying to open up the goal a little bit. Uh, but they're not letting up at all. Everyone's playing like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, you just need that one goal. And uh, Dutchtown's going to take this one on the offense into the corner, let everyone reset a little bit. As we see Sizzy setting up to pass this one to the center. Uh, Emerson may be reeling over here to get that pass as well. And no one's able to make anything happen as Renix flips this one up into the air and off the top bar. But the there rebound is. is there for Sticky again. Two goals for Sticky in this game. Using the backboard. Yeah. It's a player. Use it to help pass. I mean, look at that follow-up, making sure you've got your your player behind you to pick up. Um, you know, you're always shooting, but you're always passing. And, and that was a great reaction play from Sticky to, to be there to take control of that. And very similarly to our second game in the series, uh, that Lakeshore came out on top of, um, we're back tied at 3-3 uh, with a minute left to go. So. We'll see if we get our first overtime. I think we're going to miss um, the prediction of seven overtimes that we had. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> but, Dude, uh, this game looks so much more like the, what, the second game? Oh, then, oh. yeah. It's just, it, and there we go. When Dutch Pound gets dominant, it's it's it looks like it's just a different game. Yeah. And it's the spacing. I mean... When they space out, they, they, they have their zones under control and they're they're able to rotate better. You can see the field better. Um, and that's when we've been seeing those pass plays pick up. When you're all bunched together, you can't pass. And and that's when we see the breakdown happen as a really nice pass all the way over to Sizzy, back to Sizzy uh, from Emerson. <laughs> almost almost in the nice goal defense. there. Yeah, great yep. defense. Uh, with thir just over 30 seconds left. Um, if Dutchtown can keep this one up, we're going to go to 2-2 in the series. And, you know, we knew we were going to have a good series going into this. <laughs> um, super excited to see that that's playing out. It's really exciting here to see Lakeshore try and keep up this pressure. Um, you know, we talked about it. They're so close. Dutchtown is so close to evening this up 2-2. Um, but there's 10 seconds left, and they are keeping it on Dutchtown's side. So Lakeshore still has a chance here. We'll see what they can do with the last 10 seconds. Yeah, and you know, hey, my concern is right, right there that Lakeshore has uh, left their back end almost totally empty. And to get the pressure on to do that, it almost seems like they're having to leave the, the back end exposed a little bit. Oh, yeah, for sure. But you just got to weigh those risks and rewards, right? You're already down one with so little time left. If you let that open goal go um, as you're trying to score and even the game up, mm, that's probably a risk you're willing to take to hope and send that to overtime. But unfortunately, just like you said, Eventually, Dutchtown got that clutch cleared. They sent it back to the other side of the pitch, and uh, they took the game. So now we are at a very exciting 2-2. Yeah, also, too, um, I'm noticing Lakeshore is is kind of ahead on the uh, kickoffs. They seem to be beating those more consistently than Dutchtown is. It's not making any much of a difference, but it is interesting to see that they're getting to the ball a little bit quicker. It could make the difference if they're able to convert that into some actual pressure on the goal. So we'll, we'll see. Hopefully they can recognize that as well. Um, and they can use those quick kickoffs and those early touches on the ball to put that pressure on touchdown. Because like we said, and like we talked about earlier, if they can do it, if they can build up that pressure, if they can keep it going and keep touchdown awkwardly um, trying to make these you know questionable clears, eventually... That goal is going to be left open. We've seen they're not, you know, Dutchtown isn't getting a perfect clear every single time. Every now and then they get a little bitty one, um, kind of kind of moved right back over to somebody on Lakeshore side. And if they can keep up that pressure off their kickoffs, like you said, and like you noticed, that might be one of the keys for them to get back into this game. Well, and you know that the Dutchtown players are, they've got a renewed sense of strength here. That's right there. Oof. 
I was just wow. about to say what we haven't seen is actually any, I don't think we've seen any kickoff goals in this series at all. I mean, we haven't seen that classic three second goal. Um, so they've been able to get the pressure off those kickoffs, but we haven't seen the immediate turnaround, which is just great for the defensive side of whoever loses that kickoff. Um, but, but we are going to seven. Um, no, we could go to six. I need a little work on my math, but, uh, <laughs> we're definitely going, uh, into There's that backboard shot yeah backboard shot i mean that's what that they've been using the backboard and the sideboard a lot to pick up those uh passes to themselves in the middle and both teams have been capitalizing on that but at lakeshore that seems to be one of their kind of classic plays here um passing from the side and, and smashing it against the backboard for someone else to pick up to break that defense as we hit the one minute mark still in our still in our goals here a little bit more of an even matchup this time than the last games as uh, Emerson is going to try and get this one over into the Lakeshore side with a slow ball rotating back for Sizzy uh, to try and get in control of that goal. And there we go with a little Lakeshore off the side. Uh, no one's there to pick it up, but the drive continues for Lakeshore into the center, into the key, but Emerson is able to block that one since all the way back. And this is a great demo for Emerson to open something up. Oh, not able to commit. Sizzy up in the air. Are we going to get the double touch? We get a little bit of one. Emerson putting a cross over into the front early on Heimer on target to the corner and that is just off to the side great attempt uh, as we got another drive here from Sizzy so Dutchtown is once again picking that pressure up and making Lakeshore really work for for to keep this at 0-0 zero, zero. yeah and Lakeshore really needs to get a good clear here and I think that's going to do it for him uh, they were not able to really stop Dutchtown's offense there uh, except for the very crucial part they didn't give up a goal. Um, <laughs> Dutchtown really, really, really kept it on right there. Really kept the pressure on. Um, Lakeshore held on. Finally got the clear they needed. And now we're on the other side. Let's see if they keep up the pressure on the opposite side. Yeah, and we're going to see a clear attempt from Emerson. But we've got some shadowing going on from Renix. And it play pays off well as they put it into the corner. Uh, and Erlenheimer is there to keep this drive alive off the wall. We've seen that work in the past. Let's see if they can get that pass going. Emerson pretty powerful shot straight into Renix. Uh, Emerson once again back on it and if they can keep that boost in Dutchtown and keep these shots going Lakeshore is not going to have anything to defend with and they're not going for a goal here they're going to stop a goal which is a very different mindset as uh, sticky challenges with a little double commit there and early on Heimer once again pushes up to midfield and Dutchtown is on the defense here so a little bit of a difference as we hit two minutes left and still no goals so this is the longest we've gone in this series I think without seeing anyone put anything on the board yeah, yeah but you're right I have a feeling we're gonna see something come up soon uh, both of these teams they've each had uh, about one this game so far a questionable clear that could be a really easy pass for the oh, team but speaking of passes nice. there it is Emerson sets up that one super nicely. Oof. Sizzy comes screaming in from the center of the pitch, and we have our first goal of game five. Great positioning. I mean, that is that is solid positioning. That's watching your teammate ride up the corner for the cross and knowing that th I need to be right here in the middle because I need to pick this one up. And, and as defense, there's no way you can see it. Nope. You can't see that happening. Um, unless you're just playing positional defense as Sticky's on the drive and Sizzy blocks that pass early on Heimer two to pick that one up. And Lakeshore's only got a minute and a half and they're, I mean, very different from game one. The other thing that's gonna be setting into here is just series fatigue. I mean, five games straight, obviously we're going to a sixth at some point here. Um, and just the mental fatigue that's gonna be wearing on these players is why we're gonna be starting to see different types of play at the later game as, as it just wears on you. Oh yeah, and you see that with the pressure from uh, what this game means too. This is not your regular season clash between, uh, your regular season clash between these two teams. This is for all the marbles, right? This is the Louisiana High School State Championship. Whoever wins this game gets crowned spring champion. Oh, and Dutchtown with another great goal to go up 2-0. And the other thing that Dutchtown is doing incredibly well is they are not letting uh, Lakeshore come in from the outside. So that's why they've had to just be, you know, not side to side, but straight up and down north to south. Every time they try to come in from the outside, Dutchtown is just sitting there waiting for them. Yeah, and that's what the, 
the definite difference in the defensive styles of these two teams is as sticky response. Yeah, that's the first one they've done. Okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> but but it's game five. It's taken five games. Uh, I mean, obviously Lakeshore's been able to get some some goals up there, but the big difference in the defense here is that Lakeshore tends to have somebody kind of sitting in the front of that goal, and then having a potential double commit happen, uh, whereas. Um, Dutchtown seems to be more in line with having someone cross to clear, uh, which can leave two extra players to help with the defense. Um, but you kind of leave that goal open a little bit, but it's definitely a better way to clear than to potentially have those rebounds. As Renix comes in, and it's a nice defensive play from Sizzy to keep that uh, pressure down. Uh, as 15, 12 seconds left, I mean... Lakeshore can do it. It's it's happened before in Rocket League, you know, short second goals. But Dutchtown came out, and they're going to take the lead in this series now. I think. Who knows? Who knows when the timer's actually going to stop? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, that's a really great point on their defense, and it's something that I hadn't really noticed until you brought it up. But, yeah, you're right. You know, you've You've typically got Lakeshore sending somebody back immediately once they realize Dutchtown's going to be trying to make a play. Um, and then kind of depending on their two players, either midfield or even further up, uh, to, play, to play disruption there. And and like you've said, that's led to a couple double, uh, double commits, which just leaves the goal wide open. Uh, it hasn't happened too much uh, yet. Really, Dutchtown had two excellent passing plays there to set up their two goals in that yeah. game. Um, but it's definitely something to keep in mind as we go into uh, our first match point. Yeah, this is, you know, you uh, Dutchtown might not have felt like this this was going to happen uh, after that first game uh, where Lakeshore came out just screamingly strong. Um, but now we've got Dutchtown sitting on, on the precipice of shutting this one down. Yeah, and um, you mentioned this earlier, but that mental fatigue is so important. Uh, not only is this the high school state championship, but also we've talked about it plenty of times before. Both of these teams, they are undefeated. Very few of them have been challenged up until this point. Lakeshore in their last game got pushed a little bit by Santa Mall, but you know this is this is probably a bit of a shock for some of them to come in here. Um, and not necessarily be outmatched, but to see people who at any point in time can play better than them, uh, can make the same flashy plays, and aren't just going to, you know, roll over and take it. Yeah, and as we come, come in screaming out of the gates, uh, Lakeshore is getting pushed onto the defense to start. Uh, Baker is going to try and clear this one up at the side as we see both Lakeshore players going to the 50 to maybe pick up a pass or something, but it kind of stalls out that offensive drive right there, and uh, Dutchtown's able to take advantage of that as we get a ball just dropping straight into the right side at the 21 second mark for this almost possibly final game of the Ch state championship yeah it's just a shame uh Rennix has played so well all game and it's just just a little bit off there on that clear and nobody behind him to pick it up once he misses it so here we go this time lakeshore is going to take that kickoff and emerson with a risky risky play there bringing it back into the almost own own goal uh, as Emerson now reconnects early in Heimer with the, sh with the shot or pass blocked by Renix up in the air is Sizzy to stop that from happening and we'll see if Dutchtown can keep this going that one goal is a huge confidence builder into this game they know they know now for sure that they can take a lead and own a league as we've got a ball just floating can Sizzy get there they can great block from Sizzy ball is just a little too slow but Lakeshore is doing what they do which is to apply the pressure throw it up in the air and Sizzy once again back-to-back -back saves uh, one minute in and you know Dutchtown is up by one but Lakeshore isn't stalling at any time soon that's for sure yeah and I hate to talk about it again but it really looks like that mental fatigue might be taking hold because you know Lakeshore had their best bet to score all game there and just couldn't quite convert uh, twice there they had the ball in front of the goal uh, just couldn't get it in. Yep, yeah, but as we see off the top of the backboard, and that is so close for Sizzy. Sizzy is playing all over the place in this game. Uh, tons of touches, shots, and blocks from Sizzy, uh, challenging uh, the rest of Dutchtown for that spot that we will, uh, you know, award at the end of this, which is Dutchtown Player of the Game. That yeah, we'll Sizzy's already demonstrated that he can hit some pretty 
pretty nasty angles. Yeah, and up in the air, both players from Dutchtown dropping this one down, but able to reset their positioning, and a nice positioning from Emerson as we see two Dutchtown players up in the air. Uh, early on, Heimer is able to put this one off to the side. Emerson picks that one up, and Sticky and Renix there to try and block that, and neither one of them is able to stop that drive. Oof. That is a great goal at the three minute mark left. Uh, it's going to really stick the pressure on Lakeshore. Uh, it's okay when you're down by one because you can tie it up and you can come back, but now they know they have to get three. And that that can weigh on you mentally for sure. You really have to step it up, but not get too aggressive. And I mean, that, that's where it gets complicated. Yeah, and we, we talked about it earlier, but um, this isn't just any other game in the series. Dutchtown has made it to series points, right? If they win this game, that's it. They're the Louisiana High School State Champions. Um, you know, Lakeshore really needs to start putting on the pressure, and like you said, in an intelligent way. You don't want to give yourself uh, and dig yourself into an even bigger hole just because you're trying to make up for those two goals that you let go by earlier. Yeah, it's definitely not time to pull the goalie, um, but just to do what they've done, right? Like, we know that Lakeshore can do it, and they can do it quick, too. So it's it's can you find the, the stamina to head back to game one? Uh, they've got two minutes to do it, plenty of time to score two or three goals in Rocket League. Um, and they just need to they need to reset real quick and to, to get back in this series. As early on Heimer sends this one into the corner, we've got a demo from Baker on Sizzy, and that can be enough of a, of a push. Uh, but all Lakeshore on the same side as, oh, up in the air. We've got a great clear. Sticky's there and able to get this one out off the top bar. That was unbelievably close. And Emerson, anyone there? Anyone's there? Early Einheimer is there to pick that one up as it just drops in front. Look at Emerson, just this oh really nice gosh. redirect save it a little bit. <laughs> Erlenheimer coming in to make sure Sticky Rice fan, no matter how hard he tries, cannot save that. And Sticky Rice has got to be thinking, I just came off of a demo, got a huge <laughs> save, and I had to do it twice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And the car I mean, control, it, too. Yeah. Like, Emerson, full speed, turn around in the air, and puts that one straight where it needs to be to be picked up for a shot. Do these kids coach? Like, can I get some tips, please? I definitely need some. I definitely need some, and I think they could offer some. Right? For sure. Get me out of, get me into plat. So here we go. <laughs> One minute left to go. Dutchtown's entire uh, goal here is to just keep the pressure on, but don't be, don't be silly. Don't mess it up. Uh, but just play keep away. Park the bus if you need to, because um, Sticky Rice is there to put one almost in the spot. Just needed for Lakeshore to get one on the board. Very dangerous ball right there. Yeah, sitting right smack in the middle of the field. Yeah, right the in the saving key. grace for Lakeshore right there was that uh, pretty much all of Dutchtown's players uh, were needed on deck to defend that that last push by Lakeshore. But uh, that was very close to being a very quick 4-0. And do we oh, almost a great attempt from Renix? We're going to get another shot on goal, and that might be the one that goes there in. There we go. There we go. Renix says, not yet, not while I am in this game. Sir, 15 seconds means nothing to me. Let's go, boys. It's time for those it's time for those kickoff goals to, to find their yeah. way here. With only 15 seconds, we got to find something out of Lakeshore uh, to try and get this going real quick. Oh, I just saw something I've never seen. Amazing setup. Off to the side boost. Demo from Sticky to Sizzy. Uh, in the position, Emerson's going to put that one in the corner. That that's the dagger. That's gonna yeah, yeah. that's gonna bring us. That's all she wrote. Formalities aside, great attempt from Renix to get there. Good pressure from Dutchtown. Uh, way to control the top of that key to pick up that pass and that rebound. This kickoff's gonna stall in the middle, blocked by two Dutchtown off the side wall, up in the air with a shot that's gonna drop. Series That's winner. Right. With the attempt at the consolation goal, but that is it, folks. Your Dutchtown High School Griffins are the Congratulations. Spring Louisiana High School State Champions. Congratulations, Dutchtown. Well played, though, Lakeshore. Yeah, I mean, Very Lakeshore, well played, Lakeshore, seriously, some serious talent in Louisiana. If, if we know anything, it's that there is serious talent. And I think, I know Dutchtown's all juniors. Not really sure the uh, where Lakeshore is sitting, but... Um, 
obviously bright futures for all of these athletes. Um, as I mean, that was a great series to take. Yeah, it, it's such a shame that those last two games ended that way because, I mean, like we saw, Lakeshore took the first two games in the series very quickly and very commandingly. Uh, remember, that first game was a 3-0 win for Lakeshore. Um, and then they finally, uh, with that second game, Dutchtown kind of came back into it and started coming to their own. And Lakeshore said, not yet, not yet. We'll take the second game. And then Dutchtown did Dutchtown things and uh, <laughs> won four in a row to take the series. And I know. think if we look in the chat, I just heard that uh, Lakeshore's team is all sophomores. Oh, oh geez, yeah. Unbelievable. Incredibly exciting. Oh, that is, that's great news for, for Louisiana Rocket League. Yeah, I mean, we've got a, a, a repeat of from the Griffins taking it two years in a row. But uh, that's 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 exciting. If Lakeshore is coming into this with their first season, didn't play last year, showed up on the block and went straight to the finals and got to game six against the defending champs and their sophomores. That means they've got plenty of time to refine what is already a really talented team. Uh I mean, from that game one, it was just a commanding team, and they're just going to build that discipline as they continue. Absolutely. I, I agree. Just, I'll be tuning in uh, next year for sure because I have a very strong feeling that we'll see both of these teams, hopefully, uh, in the state finals once again in the fall because that was just a treat to watch, and especially after finding out that Lakeshore, in their first season, fielded a varsity team of all sophomores. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to see some great things out of them. Yeah, so... Uh, Thanks everyone out there for watching. Uh, we still have uh, plenty of viewers. We're more than more than happy to take questions. <laughs> um, but really good stuff coming out of both these teams. Um, and we're I know I'm I'm happy that we were uh, invited to be here today. So yeah, this was an absolute treat. <laughs> yeah, absolutely great time. So thanks everyone for being here. Uh, have a great summer and congrats once again to your defending state champs taking it once again, Dutchtown High School Griffins. And uh, we'll see you all next time. And thank you, Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Donkey. We appreciate it. Yes. Plenty of bandwidth. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Ooh, we didn't play that game. We should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you're wondering, I think there's some who are we. So we're three three coaches from all over the country. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, um where else are we i from? am uh yeah so this is a uh, english teacher from past christian mississippi and uh i go by g reg because my name's greg and that's what one of my kids called me and i'm from castle rock colorado just outside of denver <laughs> and go. for the person asking um good old coach patty is dutch town's uh esports coach yeah so with, a, you... with a good french name i think right <laughs> yeah i can't pronounce it it's a, it's a good one so if you see if you see patty uh make sure to give the congrats um but thanks you know coast almost coast to coast coast to mid uh uh streaming here it takes a village and uh we're just happy to be able to, to support fellow coach and uh to make this happen so thanks everyone for watching and uh, i guess we'll see you next year <laughs>